up, up till recently, I honestly thought it's by far, without, without any shadow of a doubt, the best game I have ever played. However, saying that, I don't want to belittle Dark Souls, I'm not. Um, especially the original, especially this one. I mean, this, uh, when I say original, of course, I'm not referring to Demon Souls. Demon Souls is, I mean, there's even ones before that, uh, that it's based on. But I mean the original Dark Souls, of course. Forgot about Mr. Drakey boy. Uh, the red drake there flying off. I'm not sure where he, I'm not sure where he went. Uh, is there someone following them? Can you uh, can hear that? There's, you can hear so much more with headphones on. It's amazing. Um, I've lost my train of thought as well. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Um, I mean, I'm pretty much breaking the immersiveness now by talking about random shit. But I have been recently tried out Borderlands 2. I've had it for a very long time. I've just been waiting... For someone to play it cooperatively with, um, and I've started it with several different people a few times, but it's uh, it's well, I mean, life has happened. We've always had to, we've always moved on, and I've never been able to uh, finish it or get very far. So recently, I just thought, screw it, I'm just going to start playing it properly, one, one single player all the way through, and and I have to say that that game is phenomenal. Um, I mean. I mean, I was talking about it in depth with a friend. Every aspect of it is 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 well made. Uh, everything, especially the sense of humour. But we're, we're not here to talk about Borderlands 2. We're here to talk about Dark Souls and its fantastic ragdoll ragdoll physics. <laughs> I can't believe they got rid of this with uh, with Dark Souls 2 and, and then Bloodborne, and then they they kind of brought it back with Dark Souls 3, but. Uh, but not nearly to the same. I mean, obviously, this guy's the same size as me, but later on in the game, you fight some pretty huge dudes that you can do this to, and um, <laughs> it's uh, it does get a bit silly. Well, now, you seem to have your wits about you. Hmm? Then you are a welcome customer. I trade for souls. Everything's for sale. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. So this guy is... The crazy undead merchant. This is where you get the um, orange soapstone for writing messages. You get the residence key for unlocking certain areas. Um, I can't remember what, what the best way to spend your beginning souls, of which we have three and a half thousand, you'll notice. One good thing to do is to buy the heat shield, but uh, starting as a knight... <laughs> someone correct me if, I'm, if I've got something else, but starting as a knight... Um, you get it, so there's no point doing that. I could buy some bow and arrow. Uh, there's a cheeky way with a bow and arrow to kill that red, um, get destroy that red drake's tail. There's a lot of a lot of bosses in this game. You can destroy the tail and get a get a a, a, blah, 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 a unique weapon. Uh, some of which are good, some of which are very niche. Um, I might actually get the reinforced club. I remember taking this recently. Not recently, last time. Maybe last time I played, maybe. Regardless, um, it's it's short, it's stubby, but it's it's pretty great, I have to say. I, I don't know why you'd take it. Oh, I see, so the club's got a higher strength scaling on it. But the Reinforced Club has bleeding. Yeah. Um, yeah, why the hell not? Why w if <laughs> If I was walking down the street... Came across a weird guy that laughed like, <laughs> and he offered me a reinforced club for three and a, for three hundred and fifty souls. I mean, that is a bargain. You could get the same club, brand brand in a brand store. You'd probably be paying three and a half thousand. So, yeah, good Thank deal. Thank you kindly. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. I, I, I just realised my impression was really bad, but um, I am going to kill this man. I, yes, I am going to kill this man. If you can call him a man, I mean, look at him. It, it, what? I'm standing on his. What? <laughs> okay, I'm. Oh, okay. Now you. God. It is so. It's so loud. <laughs> 
<laughs> the box is breaking. Um, you get most of the important stuff if you slaughter him, so... I might as well do that. I love the fact that you can break all his stuff and he... He doesn't care. Also, it looks as though, you know, these are his sort of supply crates, but... Like most of the like most of the breakables in this game, they have absolutely nothing in them. In fact, ninety nine percent of everything you can break in this game, probably point nine out of point nine on it, have nothing in them. It's just loud and it's just fun. That's all it is. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start up this fight. He's not he's not particularly difficult. There, there we go. Oh no. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna get my. I'm gonna try and try and parry him because I need to do need to get back into it. There we go. Little so there we go, little Yulia, and you get a uh, resonance key humanity thing that writes messages, and then you can loot his body for his Ucha Katana, which is a type of katana, as you can imagine. Exotic weaponry, and uh, scales well with dex. In fact, I think it's got a 14 14 strength dex requirement, so we can't wield it yet, but very soon, very soon. Um, I do like to use my. I, I like. I like to use these. Uh, these soft soles as as I go. Because otherwise, I never end. I, I never end up using them. But. Uh, uh, but right now, the problem is, is you have to use each one individually, and it just takes ages to get through them. So, I'm not going to be boring, boring people's time with that. Let's run up here. Let's grab the bonfire. And, um, first official bonfire outside of Firelink. I think that's probably the great time to stop. Uh, first part over. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I've been OC Gibbs, and I will see you in the next part. Woo!